All right, y'all, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, cleanpowerwash.com. Um, I know I told you guys I'm going booster all the way from here on out. I'm done with air pumps. Um, and even though there's no perfect pump, even though I have to fix some stuff on my booster from time to time, I prefer the performance and the durability. Um, and quite frankly, even if it's starting to mess up, I can still get it to work pretty decently uh, until I have time to service it. So we had an issue the other day. It was seizing up. It was binding. Um, and I ended up having to just tap it on the end. And uh, you can also take the straight hit slot screwdriver to torque the back end to get it going. We got it to work. Got a little bit more done. Finished the job. Brought, the, brought it back here. Wanted to test it this morning. And when I turned it on, got a little, little smoke came out. And... Actually, I'm pretty sure I already destroyed the power toggle. I've had two power toggles go out. Uh, it literally just, I mean, it's around bleach, and especially if you got your booster in a box, um, you will have some bleach fumes in there uh, that will eventually corrode and stuff, and it's just time to clean it up. So, anyway, somebody messaged me and said, hey, how do I take this part off of it? I'm spinning, 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 it just won't come off. I'm like, man, I've never had that happen. Dude, I just, you just rotate it. It's got like 15 circles or 15 threads, so you got to go a lot of time. Um, I start running the same thing, and I'm like, good grief. Now this guy's jinxed me. Well, folks, let's look inside there. Let's see if we can get you. Oh, we got at least one of the diffusers in there. You can see this pump has not been flushed as much as it should be. Now it's been eight or nine months since this one's been serviced. I'll show you what the inside of it looks like right now. See that? That is a bloody mess. This has sat with bleach. Uh, it has not been flushed out. It has also made me a boatload of money. So what I ended up having to do, and I'll show you here, we put our boosters on rails. This booster itself is, I believe it's my original one, it's two years old now. Uh, I've got another one over there that unfortunately we went to service it. Uh, that's when he bent the shaft. That was super fun. Um, so that one is now just for parts. So we pulled the power switch off of it. Um, took care of putting more tape on it. You can see inside here too. It's definitely getting mixed in there. So these are fairly well binded up. This thing was still actually, quite frankly, uh, shooting shooting bleach like crazy. Look at all that nastiness. So um, two two tips: one, flush, 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 flush it with water. That will help you a lot. Um, number two. I have these rails on here and you see right here I literally was pushing it away and I had my uh, brass fittings on the end of it that we used to just grab onto the T and then yank it a couple times you don't want to start hitting it with the hammer at the other end um, but eventually they will all come off again we'll, we'll clean these up take a scrub brush um, not gonna eat dinner with these hands right now uh, and be able to fix them uh, so we'll put new diffusers in here. Uh, this is so far, you know, it's par for the course. Uh, the total diffusers will cost me, uh, I think it's 12 or 14 diffusers, so like 80 bucks. Swap them all out, clean them out. Um, she'll be good to go and keep making me money. We are going to all one horse boosters from here on out. And if you're running a three quarter, questions about a three quarter, three quarter, you want a 4,000 PS or 4,000 watt generator um, for the one horse everything that I saw said that I needed a uh, at least 4250 starting amps or starting watts so I went ahead and went with 6500 um, and if you go 6500 from the beginning for the extra hundred bucks um, or 200 bucks wherever depending on what you get um, you don't have to buy the upgraded one when you upgrade your booster and the one horse booster has been phenomenal so really excited about that again this is literally just the result of a lot of work and a lot of 
not proper rinsing or flushing it at the end of the day. So, uh, but again, it's made me plenty of money. <laughs>